Hello and welcome back to Vino Mexico. This is the little sip of Vino Mexico, your interweekly wine show where we introduce all of the new wines and all the interesting things coming out of the wine culture here in Mexico. I am Jake, this is Guadalajara in the state of Jalisco here in Mexico. It is about 90 degrees outside, it's a blue sky day, it's hot and sweaty, but we're just going to have to get right on with it. So firstly, before we start, I would like to thank all of the people who have come to join us here and subscribe to the channel. You've been absolutely wonderful. We thank you from the bottom of our heart and we invite everybody else here to do the same so that you can keep abreast of everything that's going on and all of the great wines that we take a look at that we bring to you here every single week on Friday. Don't forget to join us on Facebook. Don't forget to join us on Twitter. Join us on Instagram. Join us on Tumblr. Join us on Minds. We are absolutely everywhere. We are joining every single social media route so we can bring you all of the best wines all of the time. Also, if you feel so inclined, please visit our Patreon page and don't forget to stop by and say hi there as well. So, without further ado, this time we would like to bring to you Lomita. And you're all saying, hmm? What's that? Okay, Lomita is a, a very, very unusual winery, it, it, it seems. Uh, once again, they are from Ensenada in the Baja California, uh, from the Valle de Guadalupe. They are based very near to a village called San Antonio de las Minas. And this is, again, a relatively new winery. And from the information I've seen, I really, really like what's going on up there. Again, this seems to be another winery that has been started because of a family project and it's being run with passion and expertise and experimentation and just a free will, will to just create great wines and just live life to the fullest. It's what I'm seeing, I love it. Check out their website so you can see what I'm talking about. It is lomita.mx, little words here. And it is an excellent website. It is very well put together and it is very, very artistic. I mean, for example, the wines that they produce in terms of the bottle are absolutely stunning. The artwork on the front of them is extremely unusual. This version here is a Pagano. It is a 2013. Okay, so this, again, is a winery that was founded in 2009 during the Harvest Festival. Um, they describe themselves as an onological entrepreneurs. I'm not entirely sure what that means. The, inf the information says that the winery itself was created by moving rocks from one place to another. So I guess it's a completely man-made uh, vineyard, but, you know, which one isn't? All of the grapes there are grown there on site, they're all processed on site, they're all aged on site, and all of the wines are created on site. So what type of wines are these guys offering? Well, from a viniculture point of view, these guys are growing Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Chenin Blanc, Sauvignon Blanc, Grenache, Shiraz, and Tempranillo. So it's a very wide range of French varietals, which uh, is can produce some very interesting wines, as, as we know. So the wines that they're producing, they do have a very, very um, comprehensive range. Their range uh, is uh, what is called the Cursi, which is a rosé. They have a Discreto Encanto, which seems to be a very sort of fruity, nutty type wine. The Tinto de la Hacienda, which seems to be a very, shall we say, bold <clears throat> and upfront, uh, upfront kind of wine. Uh, the Espacio in Blanco, SB, which tend to be a sort of very fruity, the limey, lemony, even kiwi, they're saying, um, white wine. Then they have the Espacio in Blanco Chardonnay, which again they're saying is honey with apples and bananas, and sort of a tropical wine, vanilla notes, that, that sort of thing. And then we're into this one, the Pagano. <clears throat> they're uh, saying is red fruits with chocolate, caramel, cinnamon, strawberries, chocolates, blackberries, you know, this is very, again, a very solid. This is 100% Grenache. So yeah, it could be an extremely interesting wine. The other wine they have is called the Sacro. Again, that's red fruits, that's red currants, cherries, chocolate, mint. And finally, they have one called the Singular, which says, wine by exception, exclusive wine designed with the intention of honoring the best varietals of each vintage. We produce 2,500 bottles these first four vintages are red grapes, hand-selected and fermented. So this is their Gran Reserva. Um, <clears throat> it gives no other details about it, but obviously it is harvest made and it's selected. So it is their absolute best vintage. In terms of what they offer, if you decide to take a visit to Lomita and the services that they offer, they have a tasting room. So I guess you can go and visit and try the wines there. They offer outdoor meals and restaurants. A lot of the... Um, the vineyards I've been hearing up in the Baja California actually do this as a way of promoting tourism, so this is a good thing. 
And they also do weddings. Everyone likes a wedding. And you know the party afterwards is going to be wine fuel, so headaches the next morning. Um, take a look at their website. It is absolutely stunning. If you wish to contact them, uh, they have their telephone number and their email addresses there on the website, which is down here once again. Um, there is no information present to say whether you can buy the wines direct from the winery, but as always, if you make contact with the winery and suggest that you wish to buy the wines from the winery, I am sure they'll be more than happy to, to help. So this has been a little sip. Once again, this is La Mita Wineries in the Baja California. This is Pagano 2013 100% Grenache. We shall be trying this one within the next few weeks. I can't wait to try it. It certainly looks interesting. So stay with us. Don't forget to catch us during the week for maybe another little sip. So don't forget to join us on Friday when we'll be doing part three of the Solar Fortune range. And we'll be looking forward to trying that wine and bringing you the results from that as well. So for the meantime, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, share this everywhere, let everybody know about it, and you join us once again for more Vino Mexico.